kind of excited about what's inside this bag here. I'm gonna show it to you here in a minute, but I'm gonna uh, go over some of this other stuff that I have here that I got over the last few weeks. As you guys know, I go to Phil's Propeller and Sportsman's Warehouse every week, and I usually buy about $20, $25 worth of gear every week just to kind of keep everything fresh in, in the, the stuff that I have. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff we have here. First, I got some new stuff from Beast Coast Tungsten. They sent me two of the Vanquish Mag flipping jigs, two of the Finesse Dragging jigs. Now the reason why they sent me these, they changed out the hooks on all of their jigs. And from what I understand, now they are using a must add ultra point hook. You guys see that hook there? Pretty legit looking bait there. Really nice looking. They sent me these two baits here. One's in the Elite Craw and then the other is in the TW Deluxe Craw. They also sent me the, these are the Vanquish Mag Flipping Jigs, these two here. Where those ones were the Finesse, the Finesse Dragon Jigs. These ones too are gonna be utilizing the new Mustad Ultra Point hooks. Look at that jig, that thing's a beast. So this one right here is Elite Craw, and then this one here is Watermelon Kush. So Watermelon Kush is just kind of like a green pumpkin looking color. And then this one's like an Okeechobee Craw. Now I also picked up some new hard baits here. Um, this one I already opened. This is the Strike King uh, Red Eye Shad, but it's in the Two Tap Tungsten. Actually, both of these, both of these lures are in the Two Tap Tungsten. The Rayburn Red color that I have right here is a color that I'm familiar with from the Excalibur brand, which is now the Booyah brand. Really nice. I'll give you guys a shake so you can listen to what it sounds like. Also picked up a Six Cents Crush 50X. I really like these because they remind me of the Lucky Craft LC 1.5s. They're essentially the same body, arguably as nice as the Lucky Crafts, and they're not as expensive. I think I paid like 10 bucks for this lure. This color here is called Threadfin Shad. I bet if you looked at it for a minute, you could probably tell the reason why I picked it up. This is the Savage Gear 3D Frog. It has rubber legs instead of the realistic looking ones that my other ones came with. This is the Savage Gear with the realistic looking legs. One hook, realistic looking legs, oval holes where the, where the legs actually come out. And this one has round holes where the legs come out, silicone legs, and a double hook. I thought it was kind of cool, and I wanted to pick it up so I could show you guys. As for the soft plastics that I, that I bought over the last couple weeks, I picked up some Kitech Noisy Flappers. Basically a topwater frog design. Really nice looking bait. Seems very durable. Has a, a, a very strong odor to it. I actually will probably pull double duty with this thing and use it as a craw because on its face, it actually kind of looks like a craw too. You know, I bet this thing would have crazy action if you put a weight on the head of it. I also picked up some of the crazy flappers in the 3.6. I actually think I picked some up, I did, in the 4.4. We'll pull out this larger one. So there's the 4.4. These also have a very strong odor to them. Yeah, right there it says strong squid scent. A couple items from the Grande Bass Company, four inch Mega Claws. This one is in a black and blue flake color, and this one is in a color that doesn't seem to be specified. It's got some orange flake in it, and basically a green pumpkin back. These have an odor to them as well. Biospawn Vile Craws, these are the four inch in green pumpkin. Thought they were pretty cool, so I picked up uh, uh, the green pumpkin color. I figured I'd pick these up because it's a very universal and effective color. And we have some stuff from Missile Baits. Uh, this is the D-Bomb in the Love Bug color. Uh, many of you guys know what the D-Bomb is, so I wanted to give it a shot. To me, the lesser known bait of these two is the Tomahawk eight and three quarter inch in watermelon red. So this is basically a worm, but it's got like two tails on it. Very interesting. Should be able to catch the hell out of them with something like this. 
picked up something from Gambler. This is uh, Why Not Florida 5 0. There's seven in this bag. Looks like a really nice punching bait. It's very streamlined. Uh, looks like you have to break these apart. But ribbed all the way down. Even these little flappers here are ribbed. Seen a lot of these floating around on the internet from the uh, tackle subscriptions that you guys use. This is the Avenger in black and blue. There's uh, seven in this bag here. Pretty nice. It's pretty soft. Again, you got to break it apart here. Probably use this on a Texas rig and get the most out of the action of these little arms here. The last thing I have here is the Molex Seder Worm in 5 inch. Looks like there's like eight. Looks like there's eight in here. Yeah. This is the Seder Worm 5 inch, eight pieces, watermelon, red, and black flake. So, nice looking bait there though. I was out at Phil's propeller today. Couldn't really find anything that really um, stuck out to me. I was just looking for something that was new and different or something that I don't have very many of. I turned a corner and I realized that they had two of these black and tan live target hollow body frogs. I'm so jacked up about it. Not only am I jacked up about it, and uh, I really, I don't need these at all. I did not need them, but it's becoming, for whatever reason, increasingly hard to find these. And I have lots of live target frogs and I have lots in that black and tan color, which has been very effective for me. Um, and there's several in here in the black and tan color that I've never even used before. But if they're gonna stop making these, then I'm gonna start stockpiling them. So every time I find them, I'm going to buy them. After listening to a lot of you guys in the comment section of my videos, it, it sounds like it's becoming hard for you guys to find them as well. I'll be keeping these in their package and throwing them in my storage. If those ones start getting torn up, then I'll move my way over to these ones here. Or maybe I'll give them away, I don't know.